Yo, what's up, y'all? It's Jordan Martin with Martin Investment Group, Martin Stock Club. Here are four stocks I'm looking at for this upcoming week, starting off with this uh, Christmas Sunday right now. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Uh, four, pulling up on the daily chart. We're also going to switch over to the weekly just so you can see it a lot clearer. But we see an easy, simple um, triple bottom. And then we kind of got the fourth one right here, too. All right. So I'll go ahead and lay that out so you can see it plain and simple. Uh, so one thing to notice is we have flipped, right? We see that we have started making our lower highs. So ultimately looking at a downtrend here, All right? So while we might get a bounce, uh, we gotta keep in mind that our bounce won't be as high as before, most likely. You know, we could see a bounce maybe back up to about the 1290 area. Um, maybe we can get a push to 13, right? And that still gives room for a little run up, right? That'll give us about 10%, 15% if we can make that big of a move. But it's key to notice that. And we also have this huge head and shoulders. Right? And we're going to go ahead and mark that off. So we have our head here. Right. Let me see. We got shoulder one, shoulder two. All right. So looking at that, we can go ahead and see that we can anticipate a huge move down. And I like to look at my first target being head up so that's nine dollars all right so we <laughs> that really means that forward has a so much room to drop man there's not that much room for it to drop ten dollars and really be safe um but weeks we're looking like we could ultimately see a move back down to this four dollar area that it was at um earlier in 2020 all right so that's a possibility um as we see we continue to make these new lows so for this upcoming week i'm looking for a bounce take it back to the daily chart I'm um, looking for ultimately a bounce back up to start going back towards our higher trend line for our descending triangle pattern. Uh, and even looking at trade and net, right, our descending triangle, we'll still be looking at a $5 move down. So that'll take us down to about a $6 target or so. Um, but for this simple tr um, trade I'm looking at, all right, we had an inside day on Friday. So we're just looking for a break above uh, the previous day to start kicking our move back up. And once we take out the high from here, 1179, then we can really start to see some move. And side it out, you see the triple bottom there. And that is 1154. So we go ahead and do 1155 just so I can get triggered on it. Cool. All right, let's go check out Alibaba. All right, Alibaba, we have ourselves an even star on the daily. That's this candlestick pattern. And then we also see that we're starting to break trend, All right? So we see that we have our trend and we have our bounces here, we bounced out, came back in, All right? But we see we have our trend right here and then we broke trend. And now we came back, rejected trend with the even star. And then we have a gap below here. We have a gap target here. We have a gap target here. All right. So we have targets to the downside um, heavy on Alibaba. And I'm thinking that we can go ahead and start making that move down once we take out the low here, which was 8504. So we can break through 85. Uh, you know, psychological even numbers can be a little thing to hold. So I'm going to go ahead and put 84.95. We can hold below that on a five or 15 minute. Um, five minute for a day trade, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. I might want to go ahead and swing. Uh, we can see a bigger move down on Alibaba. Let's go to KMI. All right. <clears throat> so KMI, we see that we kind of had the same thing as Alibaba. We had to move up. Right, trend line break, but now we're starting to hold a demand area here, and we see it was previously over here as well. All right, and now we're bouncing out of it, so we can target a move um, back up here, which would be having us test that original trend line, um, but also testing this original spot we were selling at around a nineteen dollar area. And we see that we previously you know rejected here before, um, so that gives us a nice move up to target on swing. Once we take out the highs around 1837, right? So I don't mind getting in this um, on a continuation up front 
preferably we take out the high, close above this high, and we can start looking at our move back up to 19. That's the bigger trade for the swing. Um, but on a day trade, I don't mind going ahead and getting in kind of early on this one, having some time, um, because ultimately if I do choose to swing it, I put my stop here, right, below these lows. So we haven't came down this far. And I go ahead and target up here. Our previous area, I get a one to five is to reward. Um, I'm okay with that for my swing. We see that we will be then triple topping here, which would be a perfect time to get out in anticipation of the reversal. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at this take and just make it a new high. I'll finish with a very strong close. All right. The close is also the high of day. So that's pretty bullish into close. And we're gonna go ahead, give me one cent above and take that. And then lastly, uh, KBI. All right, so here's the deal with KBI. It's kind of interesting how we're starting to get a little tight here, but we see all right, let's go ahead and mark that off. So we're coming in like that. And the reason that I'm not drawing a line like this, even though you can, the reason I'm not is because we started making lower uh, lower highs, right? So with this, we would have been anticipating to continue to make higher highs like here, here, and here, all right? But now we're no longer making those highs. So we're making higher lows, we're making lower highs. Um, and this one can really break either way, okay? So I'm anticipating what I'm looking for overall is for us to break back down. That's what I'm looking at overall, for us to break back down. We go ahead and switch it over. Uh, let's go. Let's go three day, All right? And here's why. So now you might see it a little clearer that this really is a heavy bear flag. Let's take it to a five day, All right? And now it looks a lot clearer, right? Ah, bear flag. So that's why I'm looking at um, this to go ahead and start breaking down. And we see that on the five day chart, we're also inside here, which can lead to the trigger to break down and carry us back here. So let's go ahead and measure out what our target would be. All right, so we got a $19 move up. All right, so about right here will be our target. Of course, after we can break through this level, that was our previous support. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this to the downside once we take out 78.75 and can get a close below there. Boom. All right, so then we're breaking that bear flag. I'm going to do a class on teaching you how to just read multiple time frames at once. But that's why we're taking that trade. And that's why I'm not looking at it for the bounce back up. Uh, while it can bounce back up, that's not the trade I'm looking for. It's because we're bare flagging on a higher time frame. Um, and we've switched from making uh, higher highs for the channel, right? We're no longer making that channel bounce. But now we're starting to make lower highs, right? And establishing a new trend. Okay. So those are four stocks I'm looking at. Those are the trigger points that I'm looking at, some targets that I'm looking at. Y'all make some money this weekend. Have a great trading week and Merry Christmas to everybody.